a 20-minute drive outside Urfa, one of the oldest continuously inhabited cities in the world, bring you to what may be the most important archaeological site in the world. Situated in the arid hilly landscape of southeast Turkey, Gobekli Tepe is rewriting what we know about the beginnings of human civilization. Its massive megalithic stone structures lay buried for millennia, but ongoing excavations at the site are revealing things as shocking as they are mysterious. From intricate carvings and astronomical alignments to skull cults and apocalypse, let's explore Gobekli Tepe, humanity's first temple. Rewriting History Gobekli Tepe was first discovered in 1994 by a team led by German archaeologist Klaus Schmidt, but it took until 2011 to realize just how special the site was. Gobekli Tepe is over 12,000 years old, the oldest known megalithic site in human history. It predicates agriculture, pottery, metallurgy, the invention of the wheel, and writing. It was built 7,000 years before Stonehenge. Its antiquity has led some to speculate that it may even be the site of the biblical Garden of Eden. Speculation aside, Gobekli Tepe is rewriting how we understand the development of civilization. There were not supposed to be any large-scale megalithic sites like this built before we learned how to domesticate weed and animals, but here is one such site. It contains structures of such scale and complexity, clearly imbued with religious and astronomical significance, that were built with an organization and manpower not thought to have been possible until a few thousand years later. So, how were they built? The predominant theory suggests that Neolithic hunter-gatherers built Gobekli Tepe with rock quarried from nearby. How long it took or how many people were involved in its construction is uncertain but it no doubt would have taken the organized effort of hundreds, if not thousands of people. How could they feed that many people without some form of agriculture is a mystery. There is no trace of domesticated plants or animals at the site. It sits in Earth's original breadbasket, though. The world's first domesticated strain of wheat was found just 20 miles away. However, the first evidence of agriculture dates to 10,500 years ago more than 1,000 years after experts say Gobekli Tepe was constructed. Ancient Megaliths Gobekli Tepe, Turkish for Belly Hill, is a mound 1,000 foot in diameter, sitting atop the highest ridge in the area. The most striking features of the site are the giant T-shaped megaliths. So far, 43 of these pillars have been unearthed, some more than 16 feet tall and weighing more than 50 tons. The megaliths are arranged in a series of four circles with two tall pillars standing at the center of each, surrounded by a ring of smaller ones. Yet, only 5% of the site has been excavated. Geological surveys have revealed that there are at least 250 more of these megaliths hiding below the ground, creating perhaps another 16 circular complexes. The extraordinary effort it would have taken for hunter-gatherer society to construct this complex is hard to comprehend. But perhaps a greater mystery is what is carved into these massive stones. Mysterious Carvings, Drug Bags, and Comet Apocalypse Many of the megaliths have some extraordinary artwork on them. Lions, bulls, vultures, scorpions, spiders, and foxes are just some of the animals depicted on the stones. There are also abstract shapes as well as arms carved along the sides of a few of the tallest megaliths indicating that they may have represented humans or gods. More impressive, though, is how these pictures were carved. They were made using a relief technique where a raised image was chiseled away from the rest of the stone. This is much more difficult than simply carving an image directly into the stone, and suggests that whoever made them had a high degree of skill and came from a long line of stone workers. One of the most mysterious sets of carvings can be found on Pillar 43, also known as the Vulture Stone. Across the top of the pillar, there are three handbags. Similar carvings have been found all over the ancient world, from Egypt to Assyria to India to Central America. They are depicted in Olmec sculptures, Assyrian friezes, and Egyptian hieroglyphs. They're even described as far away as New Zealand, where a Maori myth recounts the story of a hero who rises to meet the gods and comes back with three baskets of wisdom. The handbags on the vulture stone at Gobekli Tepe are the oldest of them all. But what do they mean? The prevailing interpretation is that they may be a symbol for the cosmos. The arced handle represents the curve of the horizon and the rectangular body is the Earth. 
However, others say that they were essentially shamanic drug bags filled with magic dust. Psychoactive substances used in rituals to induce hallucinations and commune with the cosmos. But it seems like the builders of Gobekli Tepe had a particularly bad trip, judging by what's carved underneath the handbags on the vulture stone. Based on a recent translation of the rest of the stone, researchers are saying that it retells an apocalypse that really happened. There is increasing evidence that a comet swarm hit Earth around 13,000 years ago, shortly before our ancient ancestors hauled all that rock up a hill and built Gobekli Tepe. The comet impact triggered what's known as the Younger Dryas, a mini ice age that lasted for about 1,000 years the tail end of it corresponding closely to when Gobekli Tepe was constructed. It's hypothesized that the colder temperatures brought about by this cataclysm spurred humanity towards agriculture and a more sedentary lifestyle. Were the Neolithic architects of humanity's first temple survivors of this apocalypse? Or at least, were they just a few generations removed from this ice age-inducing comet strike, the memory of it still ingrained in their collective psyches? We don't know. The First Astronomical Observatory? There's a lot we don't know about Gobekli Tepe, but compelling evidence points to the fact that it may have served as the world's first known astronomical observatory. Using simulations of what the sky would have looked like in Turkey when Gobekli Tepe was built, Italian RKO astronomer Giulio Magli has suggested the site was built as a temple, meant to track the movement of the dog star Sirius. Today, Sirius is the brightest star in the sky. However, until around 11,300 years ago, it was invisible below the horizon from southeastern Turkey. But then, due to the Earth wobbling on its axis, which creates a phenomenon called precession, where the location of the stars in the sky seems to change, Sirius was born, and rose above the horizon for the first time. Is Gobekli Tepe a temple built to celebrate and track the birth of a star? Perhaps. Three of the excavated rings align with points on the horizon where Sirius would have arisen in 9100 BC, 8750 BC, and 8300 BC. When combined with the comet impact portrayed in the Vulture Stone, there is certainly compelling evidence that the architects of Gobekli Tepe had their eyes fixed on the heavens. An Ancient Skull Cult Gobekli Tepe has a dark side, though. Archaeologists have uncovered pieces of three skulls at the site, all of which had signs of post-mortem human modification. That is, the heads were either cut off or had holes cut into them after their owners died. Scientists have interpreted the finds as evidence that Gobekli Tepe was the site of a skull cult, where human heads were venerated and put on display. It's a practice that goes back to the Paleolithic age, well before Gobekli Tepe. Another theory suggests that the presence of other human remains scattered at the site indicates that the dead were brought to Belly Hill and left for the vultures to devour. Vultures carved into the megalithic stones and the fact that vultures were portrayed in the funerary shrines of later Neolithic settlements nearby seem to back this theory up. Of course, when you think of a skull cult, you think of ritual human sacrifice like what was practiced at horrifying scale by the Aztecs and Mayans. However, no evidence has been unearthed, yet, that suggests this was the case at Gobekli Tepe. No Tools, No Settlement It seems reasonable to assume that the creators of Gobekli Tepe used tools to cut and haul the thousands of tons of stones necessary to build it. But no tools dated to its construction have been found. There have been tools dated towards the end of Gobekli Tepe's lifespan, but how exactly the megaliths and their intricate carvings were created remains a mystery. Since only 5% of the site has been excavated, perhaps that mystery remains waiting to be uncovered. Also missing is any sign of human settlement. There is no pottery, no signs of houses or domestic buildings of any kind. There are, however, loads of bones from wild animals, which has led lead archaeologist Klaus Schmidt to suggest Gobekli Tepe was a pilgrimage site, where ritual feasting occurred. The fact that the animal remains are from wild species and not domesticated ones also backs up the theory that this was all happening pre-agriculture. Intentionally Buried The fall of Gobekli Tepe is perhaps the most mysterious thing about the site. This grand megalithic temple was quite literally buried. About 10,000 years ago, for reasons unknown, the entire complex was filled in under mountains of soil and settlement refuse, 
like bones and flints that were brought from somewhere else. Its burial is the main reason the site was so well preserved, and also the reason it took so long to discover. But why was it buried? It wasn't simply destroyed in a war by a rival society with different spiritual beliefs. Was it hidden? Preserved for some reason by the descendants of its creators. Like many of the questions swirling around Gobekli Tepe, these two remain unanswered. We've only scratched the surface of what we know about Gobekli Tepe. In the coming years, we will hopefully uncover more clues that can help us understand what could be the birthplace of civilization.